Hi, uh, my name is Judith Jamison, and I'm the former director of the Albany American Dance Theater. And it is my great pleasure to read a little bit of Ms. Delavalade's bio. She is the queen, and she's been the queen for a very long time. I think she's been in the business 70 years or more. But all I know is when I first came to New York, she took me right under her wing, she and her late husband, Jeffrey Holder, and really protected me and showed me the way before I even joined Ailey. And it's remarkable how the stars met Carmen de la Vlade and Alvin Ailey and that she brought him to dance that she saw him in a gym class and uh, uh, he was very athletic and I think she took him to his first dance lesson and then finally to Lester Horton. Carmen has had an unparalleled career in dance, theater, film, television, beginning in Los Angeles as part of the Lester Horton Dance Theater and then she brought Alvin there. She later appeared in films with stars like Dorothy Dandridge, Harry Belafonte, uh, the list goes on and on, and later traveled to New York for her Broadway debut in House of Flowers, which Mr. Ailey was in. In addition to extensive acting, choreography, and teaching credits, in the dance world she has brought to life the works of greats like Mr. Ailey, Donald McHale, John Butler, Jeffrey Holder, the Renaissance man who became her husband. Carmen was responsible for Alvin's entrance into the world of dance, and I had the privilege of meeting her and working with her as a guest with American Ballet Theater um, in Agnes de Mills the Four Marys. Ah, she guided me through that. That was my first time in New York, and I didn't know what I was doing, and she certainly guided me and introduced me to people that just were so instrumental in shaping my career. Um, Carmen has had an unparalleled career in dance. Just, it's unparalleled. You know, Lena Horne, the people that she knows, Dorothy Dandridge, the films that she's done, um, it's just a remarkable list of things. What a great pleasure for me to be able to introduce her, the incomparable Carmen de la Valade, our queen. I was trying to think about that time, which was a different time. You know, everybody at that time, it was um, work together. It was during a time when all the choreographers were, were working together. And a lot of it came out of the why. And everybody helped out for some reason. It was all out of pocket, all out of our own pennies and pocket. Nobody ever had any money, which was kind of wonderful. You know, everybody uh, supported each other and found some way to participate. And so I think that's, that, that was a lot of it. And I think with Alvin, we're used, we were used to that at Lester Horton's, you know, we were, that was one of our things. We helped each other out. It was always participatory. And during the fifties, I mean, the New York was jumping creatively. I mean, in the art world, everything was going on. Broadway was jumping. It was quite an exciting time, actually. Oh, and Alvin and I were, were, brought to New York, actually, by Herbert Ross, I do believe. I think he was doctoring uh, the show House of Flowers. And to meet those, I mean, Harold Arlen and, and Truman Capote and these incredible people. So, And I think that that fed Alvin. And because Alvin would take in everything. He had all these extraordinary people to take from, you know, and, and museums and, and, and plays and all kinds of things. And he, I think he was in his element. There was a festival in, in a park, you know, one of those outdoor festival things. Ruth St. Dennis was on the same program and a number of people. And Alvin and I would do this, this duet. And we had to do, we had to present something. So we put this thing together. And our first performance was out in this park. And Alvin and I, we did the thing and the, tore the place up. 
we were so surprised because everybody just loved it. But it was a, it was one of those, you know, like I said, we just put things together and presented them. We were just on our own. When the park was open, you know, that was a venue. Anything you could get, the 92nd Street Y, that was a big home for everybody too. It was a it was a wonderful time, and all John Butler. I was with John Butler a lot. I was working with John. I was working with Alvin. I was working with I don't know how many people. It was all everybody came out of the House of Flowers, you know, and they were used to working together. So they'd say, "Say we're going to have a concert. Anybody? So anybody available? Yeah, I'm, can you share this? So they used to share the concert, share share everything. It was wonderful, you know. I guess our generation knew about blues but but it was it, because it's classic brother john you know oh god i love brother john sellers <laughs> just adored him well he was he was a big i think he was the one that started this whole thing because i think out of brother john's knowledge of of blues i think that alvin got the blues suite from brother john he knew all his back. Well, he knew all his old. Blues. Oh, he was wonderful. Working with Alvin was fun. You know, we we were well balanced with each other. He's he was a he does he didn't look like a dancer. You know, mm-hmm. he looked like he should be like a stevedore on a, <laughs> on the wharf. <laughs> but he was he was a wonderful. He was a good partner. I mean, he was strong, very strong. I mean, when I could do a hinge and he hinged with me hinging on, <laughs> I mean, that's something. But he was also very sensitive, too, you know. But he's, he, was a, he was a good soul. We had great times.